A day or two ago, I posted a meme that called for a ban of ballistic weapons. It was rather tongue in cheek. It was hyperbolic. It wasn't too serious, but I could advocate a ban on ballistic weapons, which the meme illustrated would include the exception wherein we would have weapons in an arsenal in each town to satisfy the Second Amendment so that states could fulfill their right to have weapons to defend against the tyrannical government. But I made fun of this idea because we live in a time of such mass and successful communication and at least the idea of complete democracy so that if we would run our government better, if we would be more responsible citizens, we could trust the people in the militia, the police, and the standing army so that we wouldn't have to hold so dearly to some of our hearts anyway, the notion that we have to fight the government. And I sufficiently made fun of this point because I find it hilarious that usually it's the right-wing conservatives in this country who go on and on about waving the flag, defending the troops, and honoring our soldiers, yet they're the same people who speak so much about wanting to fight that government. I also called people who love guns um, basically misfits. Now this doesn't apply to people who are responsible gun owners, who use their guns for hunting. But as Jim Jeffries, the Australian comedian, suggests, I don't buy that your average garden variety gun lover cares about self-defense. He or she loves guns. We have a problem with guns in this country. We have the most problematic culture in relation to guns in the world. Last year, 50 people were gunned down in a nightclub in Florida. This was an act of jihad and insanity. Last month, 58 people were killed at a concert by a lone gunman in Nevada. And a few days ago, 26 people were killed in a church. Americans have antiquated gun laws. They deliberately and ignorantly misinterpret the Second Amendment. And politicians will not pass legislation that makes this country a sane country in relation to guns. I'm fed up with this, and every American should be. So I used hyperbole, a tongue-in-cheek way of speaking, and sarcasm to show that something has to be done. And if anyone who is a responsible gun owner, especially among my friends, and takes offense at what I said, well, then you'd have to say that you fit into the category of an irrational gun lover or you're someone who, as I said in the meme, is praying for the day when we fight the government. I'm referring to lunatics, not you. So don't think so much, feel a little more, and realize that the countries that we bombed into having democracy have better democracies than we do, and they don't have the gun violence that we do, and they have happier and safer people. We brag to the world that our philosophy is something about the freedom to pursue happiness. But we're not free to pursue happiness. We're not free to pursue our happiness if we live under the threat of guns. And finally, I'd like to say, this self-protection that gun owners speak about, the gun owners are the ones that we have to protect ourselves from.